to you now about acid reflux. A man from Widnes has become one of the first British patients to have an operation for people with the most common stomach complaint in the UK, which is chronic acid reflux. And the procedure, which is coming to the NHS in selected specialist centres from this summer, is the only option for people who have developed permanent swallowing problems due to the acid damage and for whom medication has stopped working. Currently, waiting lists to see a gastroenterologist are at an average 55 weeks across the UK. That's over a year. But 20% of UK adults suffer from chronic heartburn, which needs investigation and medical attention. David Walsh was the man who received the treatment. He's here with us this morning. But first, let's hear from Dr Paul Goldsmith, the NHS surgeon who carried out the procedure, talking to Tom Walker, explaining what reflux is. Condition and affects up to 15 to 20% of the UK population. Um means different things to different people. It, often the classical thing is heartburn, which is a sort of a burning sensation coming up the middle of your chest. It also may present with throat-based symptoms, such as a bad taste. People often describe like a metallic taste at the back of your mouth, but it has other things as well. So different people may say, doctor, I've got a cough, and cough has become a really big presenting complaint now because of the connotations it might have people can present with a change in their voice especially people like teachers they say i can't shout at the kids can't tell the kids off because i can't project my voice um sometimes patients say they might get a bad breath nausea or bloating and why does it happen paul different reasons really there isn't one thing that um causes reflux it's, it's sort of a multitude of things really so it could be like a structural problem so uh what i mean by that is is our stomachs all produce acid. That's completely normal. It helps us digest food. But sometimes you can get a weakness in a valve between the esophagus and the stomach, something called the lower esophageal sphincter. And that can become weak and therefore allows acid going from the stomach, which is an entirely normal place for it to be, to come up into the esophagus. And then you get some of the sensations that we just described previously. Uh, but it also could be you get a hiatus hernia as well. Now, hiatus hernias are... Again, when you get a little bit of the stomach that pushes through the hole in the diaphragm, which is completely normal, which allows your esophagus to come through. And that can sometimes contribute to getting um, reflux. But it must be said that hiatus hernias are very, very common. But then there's also lifestyle things. And this is this is the real tricky one, because reflux can get caused by certain foods and drinks. And it's it's all the good things in life. It's all the things I love coffee, citrus, like oranges and tomatoes, chocolate, spicy foods, alcohol. Other risks include smoking. It can be caused by stress and anxiety. Um, some tablets can cause it. Some medications like uh, things like ibuprofen and being overweight. What are the treatments that have been generally and available until you uh, did your kind of revolutionary treatment, uh, which you'll tell us about in a moment? The mainstay of reflux treatment is lifestyle and medical management. So, and that is well in excess of 90 to 95% of patients who present, not just in the UK, but, you know, Europe, North America, who present with reflux will be given tablets. Tell us, if you would, then, about the new treatment that you've pioneered. What a reflux stop does is it doesn't exert any pressure around the esophagus. It acts on the side of the esophagus. And the thought is that it, it helps maintain the anatomy of, dare I say, how we were born and help reduce reflux in that way. I, th I think what's quite exciting about this device is if patients do go down the surgical route for an operation, we always run the risk of dysphagia. Dysphagia is difficulty swallowing. And what we know is that patients who have difficulty swallowing before an operation for, for reflux, they're more, more than likely to have difficulty swallowing after the operation. So that, that can be quite an annoying symptom, a difficult symptom to manage for a patient. And I think this device offers us surgeons a different approach to helping especially patients in this setting. So that surgery that Dr Goldsmith was talking about was on David Walsh, the man who received the treatment. Hello, thanks very much for talking to us. Morning, David. Tell us about your story. Uh, hi. Hi, yeah. Uh, hello. <laughs> I, well, I've suffered the reflex symptoms for a long, long time, over 20 years, uh, and it was 
getting increasing problems. Uh, it was affecting my teeth and gums, wow. the reflux coming up into the mouth. Uh, I'm suffering from Barrett's esophagus, which is a change of the cells uh, above the uh, stomach lining. So that can cause problems and even cancer at later stages. So I was suffering and the, uh, the, the medication they put us on was the photon pump inhibitors and they weren't working anymore. I was, I was on double the uh, recommended dose and I was still getting as much acid reflux every night. Um, and so when you talk about, I've never, I, I mean, you know, a lot of people won't know what acid reflux feels like. What does it feel like? You know, I've had heartburn the odd time. C- kind of explain it from that starting point. Well, it's exactly as you heard from Paul then. You get the heartburn and the uh, acid coming through back up into your mouth. Mm. Uh, but it gets worse and worse because as the symptoms increase, you're getting more and more reflux through. It, it's, as I say, it affects your gums. It actually wears your gums away so your teeth can become loose if it's coming into your mouth, if you're really suffering from it. Uh, and your throat, I'm, I'm asthmatic. And they were treating me for more and more asthma symptoms, but the asthma's got gone down since I've had the reflux stop. So that must have been a cause for that as well, I would say. Um, and I tell me this, fun. David. They, um, we heard the doctor there talking about lifestyle. What was your lifestyle like? You know, he talked about people being overweight or smoking. Did you have any of those factors playing in? Yes, I, I was overweight. I think I've lost, what was it, 10 kilograms since. Right. Uh, I've tried to change my lifestyle as well. I'm doing more exercise and stopped, I've stopped drinking. I just have the uh, alcohol free stuff now. But yes, that that was a factor. But uh, a problem with the, the valve uh, wasn't caused by that. It was, well, it might have been over a long, long time. Now, did you hear about this treatment and ask for it? Or was it just in a, an appointment somebody mentioned it to you? Uh, I, I googled and researched and looked for things that could be done because I, I, I was under the uh, team at St Helens NHS and uh, they were brilliant, the team at St Helens NHS but when they put me to the consultant the consultant seemed to say well you're over 60, there's not really a lot we can do So, and with, the, uh, with it getting worse and worse I then started looking for something I could sort out myself and luckily found Paul Goldsmith's name and the reflux stop and luckily was a candidate for that when, when he met me. And how long ago did you have the operation? Uh, 28th of February. Oh, so it's just this year and your life has changed massively since then, has it? Completely. It's, it's the little things. You know, you can lie down. Uh, mm. Before I had to have two wedge pillows to, to stick me up so that nothing would come up or it would reduce what was coming up through the... Uh, valves yeah. uh, and it, you can lie flat you can turn over you can you know eat, what a, uh, eat, eat I was going to say well. what about eating are you able to eat a variety of stuff again you know go out for meals and enjoy food again yes yes I can that was something that I tried not to eat anything after 3 o'clock in the afternoon oh, wow. because that would uh, cause problems uh, it doesn't cause any problems now so there's no, no acid reflux at all This is brilliant news. David, thank you so much for talking to us. I'm so glad it's been such a success. And hopefully you've prompted some other people listening to you to inquire about the treatment themselves. And they, like you, can be out having meals at six and seven o'clock in the evening. (laughs) I hope so, because it's it's made a massive lifestyle change for me and it's been brilliant. And I'm so glad I, I found it. David, thank you so much. You take good care of yourself. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. 